Hey there, I'm Charlotte Smith and welcome to my kitchen today. This time of year, fall, I just love having things in the crock pot. And I'm showcasing London broil this week. And the reason is in our farm store, uh, we have lots of couples and singles and small families, as well as large families too. But not everybody wants a big old four or five or pound roast or even larger. So I had a bunch of these cut up into two to three pound sizes, which is perfect for our family that I used to feed, you know, a couple of years ago, I was feeding five or six or seven people for dinner with my son's teenage friends and a big five pound roast was great. But now that it's dwindling to three of us at home, this uh, two pound roast is just perfect. So I had them cut London broil. It's from the top round, very tender, very tasty. Our grass-fed beef tastes so amazing if you haven't had it. It's really super delicious because they're grazed on tall green grass about 10 months of the year. I also, we got this new product in our farm store. This, uh, let me get the meat off my hand. This wild swarm honey from a neighbor and it's raised in the area. And so I've been trying to find ways to incorporate that into recipes. So this is a London broil in the crock pot with wild swarm honey gravy. At first you may think, ooh, sweet gravy, but trust me, it is so delicious. Um, I've been practicing the recipe for a couple of weeks, so we've actually been eating this recipe f um, a lot the last few weeks and nobody's gotten tired of it. It's really super good. And it's very simple. So when you're in a hurry to get dinner on the table, I mean, you know, you're rushing around in the morning, it's so simple to put it in the crock pot and then have a wonderful, healthy, nutritious dinner for your family that night with probably even a few leftovers the next day. So you just take your thawed London broil and isn't this just a beautiful piece of meat? And the first thing you're gonna do is just salt it all over. You wanna just shake the salt on both sides. And this is just sea salt. And then I just place it in my crock pot. This is how super easy it is. And we sell bone broth now, pre-made, because a lot of people have a hard time finding the time to make their own. We sell chicken and beef bone broth in the store. So you can get all the ingredients there. I've just got chicken broth right here. You can use either one on this recipe. It doesn't really change the final flavor whether you use chicken or beef. So either one. This is a mixture of balsamic vinegar and soy sauce and uh, Worcestershire sauce. And then some fresh garlic here, like four cloves of garlic goes right on top of the roast. And then you wanna drizzle about a tablespoon of your wild swarm honey just over the top. And oh, it's so beautiful, it adds such flavor. So that's it. This is, anyone can get this in before you go about your day. You know, it's so simple. This is gonna go in the crock pot for four hours and then I'll show you how we reduce the gravy and then voila, we're gonna have dinner just like that. So the London broil has been cooking all day in the crock pot. The house smells amazing. I'm just gonna take it out and put it right here on a piece of foil, wrap it up to keep it warm while we cook down the gravy. So you don't even need to add anything to the gravy. This is just the juices, including all those ingredients we put in before the video. Now I'm gonna put this on the stove. It'll probably take about 15 minutes to get it as thick as I want it, and you can leave it thin too, but I want it to be a little bit thicker. There we have, I cooked it down a little bit, just about 10 minutes. Um, it doesn't need to thicken too much, just whatever you prefer. And I'm just gonna pour it in my little gravy boat. actually made quite a bit, which is great because we like sauce and gravy in our family. <laughs> and then I am just going to take a scoop of these potatoes. Now we raised our own potatoes in the garden this year. It's been the first time in a long time we've had time to do that. And the difference is incredible. They're super fluffy. <laughs> it's really worth doing it. I'm so excited we did that. And I'm going to slice up a little bit of the meat. And I'm just slicing this up it's very tender, so you don't need to go too thin. 
And then I'll just place, uh, this is my husband's favorite. He likes nothing better than meat and potatoes. So he's gonna love this when he gets home tonight. Although I am gonna put something green on the side, uh, broccoli or salad or something. And then you just pour this uh, wild swarm honey gravy over the top. The potatoes soak up the balance. Oh my gosh, it smells really, really good. Hayden and I are gonna eat this in a minute. <laughs> uh, and there will be some leftovers too. So there you go, really super easy London broil with wild swarm honey gravy. We have all of these things in the farm store. This is the most beautiful honey I've, I think I've ever seen and nothing is more pure than just taking this straight from the hive, putting it in a jar and like I said, our friend and neighbor then brings it to the store. And we have also these London broil roasts. They're all two to three pounds. So like I said, perfect for small family or just a couple or single too. All right, so thank you and I will see you soon.